Hey guys and girls, we're back with another Tinker tutorial, Tinker kit from Electfreak. So today we're going to make a little alarm box system. So you're going to need your breakout board and your micro bit. So let's get those plugged in. And you're going to need two LEDs. So I've got a blue one and a red one. So the red one, you just connect your cable to, and the red one is going to go into pin two. So remember, uh, sorry, pin one pin one so naught one so pop that into there keep the colors matched up so you yellow to yellow red to red black to black we're then going to grab the little switch and we're going to connect this up so cable on and this will go into pin zero on your breakout board and we're then going to grab another cable connect up our blue LED like so and that's going to go on to pin 8 now pin 8 on the breakout board is different colors so on the board it's got blue red and black just make sure the red and black go to the red and black and ignore the blue that's fine okay and then finally we're going to need our OLED which is this and that's just going to pop into the bottom like so so you can have two rows above it and then just plug it into the bottom row and that's good to go Okay, so we're here in MakeCode and we have started a new project. Uh, you need to remember that if you haven't got the Tinker Academy here, you need to go down to Extensions and just add the Tinker Academy kit and that'll appear. So we're going to initialize our OLED. So our OLED will be under the OLED options and we want to initialize it. Okay, so that will be on the on start. And we want to initialize it with 128 and 64 so that's fine and then we're gonna start our crash sensor so we're gonna to go to Tinker Academy I'm gonna grab setup crash sensor at pin 0 okay and that basically will just tell tell it that there's a, a crash sensor on pin 0 we're then gonna use the forever statement and we're gonna say forever if so we need to go to logic and we want an if then else statement here and we're going to say uh, forever if crash sensor pressed so under Tinker Academy we've got crash sensor pressed just drop that in then we want it to do something and we want it to show a string so under OLED we should have show string and we're going to say um, stuff secure so if our box is shut, our stuff is safe and nice and secure. We're then going to do some stuff with pins. Okay, and we want to uh, digital write pin 0. It's not pin 0, it's pin 1. I'm going to set that to 0. And then we can duplicate this and digital write to pin 8. And we are going to say that's 1. So this will control your two LEDs, whether you want the LEDs on or off. Okay, so if you remember, we set the red LED to pin one. So at the moment, this is pin one will be off. And if our stuff's secure, we will get a, con a constant blue light. Okay, and that's what we want. So let's move on and we need to do our else statement. Okay, so let's do our else statement. And I've actually popped that into the wrong part, so just move that up. It's just me being silly. So if crash sense press, then show the string, turn the blue light on. We now need to do it if the button's released. So let's do that now, and we'll do uh, OLED. I'm going to clear the LED. Okay, and then we're going to show string, so we can just duplicate that one that into here I'm going to say hmm, what should we say not safe okay and then we need to sort our lights out so again we can duplicate these and we're going to say 
uh, if it's not safe, then we're going to want uh, pin 8 to be 0. So we'll do pin 8 will be 0. Uh, pin 1, which is our red light, will be 1. We're then going to pause. So we'll do a, a pause. Uh, I've got to remember where the pause is. It should be on the basics. Pause. And we'll leave it at 100. That's fine. And then we're going to have a digital write again. And we're going to say digital write pin 1 to 0. And then we'll just do another pause. And this is going to cause the little red LED to flash. And that's it. That's all you need to make this work. So it should be pretty straightforward. A nice little bit of iteration here and selection. So selection being the, the if statement. So if this happens, then do this. Otherwise, do this. Um, and the iteration is the loops with inside that. So um, if this part's happening, it will just constantly keep going around and keep looping that light. OK, until that button is pressed again. So uh, let's go check this out. Uh, on the micro bit. Okay, so we've got the micro bit flashed and it's got the program on it. So you can see I'm holding down the switch at the moment. So this would attach inside your little box, your cardboard box or your little chest and the lid would hold this switch down. All the time this switch is held down you can see that the blue light's consistent and on the little OLED screen, if we can focus in on this, might be a bit tricky but we'll see what we can do. There we go. We can see it says stuff secure. Now, when we let go or we open the lid of the box, what we expect to happen is a few changes. So I'm going to release the switch. OK, and there we go. We've got a change. So we can see the red lights now flashing to signal an alarm. And if we look at the OLED screen, we've now got a change. And we can see it says not safe. So you can play about with this um, quite easily. You could add the buzzer, maybe get an alarm going, um, and actually get it wired up to a, to a little box and have a go. So yeah, pretty cool little tutorial. So we've also got a, a, I've also got a giveaway at the moment on the site. So all you need to do is go over to the community tab and you can enter. It's free to enter. There's no cost at all. Um, just follow the instructions and you could win a BBC uh, microbit starter kit. So that's the microbit, the cable, uh, battery case, and batteries. So yeah, feel free to enter that. And yeah, so that's the tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already and follow us on uh, Instagram.